North and South Korea agreed to march together at the 2018 Olympic opening ceremony. For the first time, the female hockey teams will compete together as Team Korea. But this is not the first time they have marched together. And next will be Korea. Two athletes holding one flag. North and South marching together. The fact that North and South Korea came into the stadium marching together while well, they're doing it again here in Athens. Korea! 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 Some hope the Olympics will be a chance to ease tensions on the peninsula. But the inclusion of North Korea is highly controversial, and there have been ongoing protests. The two countries have a complicated and sometimes violent history surrounding the Olympics. Is there room for compromise? North Korea tried to co-host the 1988 Games in Seoul 30 years ago, but those talks fell through. The co-hosting is absolutely out of question. It is against the charter of the IOC. On November 29, 1987, two North Korean spies bombed a South Korean plane, killing all 115 people on board. One agent took his own life, but the other was captured and confessed to the plot on national television. And most recently, this self-confessed North Korean agent said she helped blow up a South Korean jetliner to discourage nations from taking part in the games. With heightened security, the games continued, and there were no further incidents. South Korean President Moon Jae-in says the 1988 Olympics showed how South Korea can host the games in the face of fear and division on the peninsula. This time, he has a loftier goal. What message are you sending to the world with these games? Through the Pyeongchang Olympics, the Korean people will be able to send a message of peace to the world, he said. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.